Hey YouTube, I'm going to be showing you how to use the latest version of Vocaline version 003 on a song that I'm currently mixing and uh, actually still tracking. So here's a video and uh, if you like what you hear, the band I'm working with is called Good Morning Milo. You can check him out at myspace.com slash goodmorningmilo. Okay, hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to use Vocaline. Currently, the version I'm using is Vocaline Pro version 0.0.3 beta. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your plugin menu and select Vocaline. Make sure though you put it on the dub track. Right now I'm going to be doing it on the pre-chorus. From here, you're going to want to side chain it and you're going to want to select your pre-chorus. In my case, it's going to be number 37. So this is what you do. You go capture audio. Let me zoom out a little bit. You go capture audio and then you're going to want to play it. Sound from a new beginning. Okay, so right now what it did was it imported the waveforms of the pre-chorus and the dub into vocal line. From here, you select a line, then edit. Now when you play it back, you should hear the vocal guide and the double together. Stopping from a new beginning my mind to me, you and me Tell me anything Anything Any Anything Being a beta, it does a pretty good job already. So, with Logic 9, there's a new feature called Bounce in Place. Now, if you have Logic 9, this is how you save this. You right-click on the double Click on Bounce in Place. Uh, you want to go New Track. You can mute or leave or delete the source if you want to. But make sure that Bypass Effect Plugins is unchecked. And you're going to want to do Add Tail Effect. So click OK. And you have your newly created track that's been aligned by Vocal Line. Let's hear it. Let's delete this and bypass the plugin and mute the track. Here we go. Sounds good. Okay. Now, what I've also noticed you can do in Logic that's different from Pro Tools is you can assign the vocal line to multiple tracks. So right now, with the chorus, I'm going to assign vocal line to both doubles. And I'm going to mess up the side chain to chorus 1. There you go, this is number 31. And I'm going to do the same thing on the course 3 track, the double. Okay, now we're going to make that 31. So, this is the way I do it. I'm sure there are different ways. Um, but I like to start early and then hit capture audio. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so as you can see in both vocal line windows, it captured the main audio and the double. So again, we click Align, Edit, Align, Edit, and it's always best to play back the edited audio just to make sure everything's on point. 
Um, sometimes you can just go ahead and bounce in place if you're in a hurry, but I always usually check it first. So let's go ahead and check it. Let me turn up the doubles a little bit so you guys can hear it. Okay, here we go. The time was right. I would tell you everything penned up inside. From a bird's eye, where the air is thin, it takes some getting used to, some settling. Sounds great. So now we'll go ahead and bounce in place. And then bounce the next one in place. Okay. Now, if you happen to have any special effects, um, you know, automation or EQ or any other plugins, what you can do is delete the muted tracks and slide the bounce tracks down. That way it keeps your automation or your EQs, compressions, and everything intact. And then from there, you just delete the, uh, the bounce in place uh, tracks that you're no longer using. And now all you do is take off the plugin. So let's go ahead and listen to the pre chorus and then the chorus, both vocal lined. Parting of my lips down. No use, no point to ever make a sound. Stop me from a new beginning. My mind of you and me Tell me anything Anything Any Anything And if the time was right I would tell you Everything pent up inside From a bird's eye Where the air is thin It takes some getting used to Some settling There you go Um like I said, Vocal Line is still in beta, and hopefully when it comes out in the final, it'd be less buggy. Um, when I go to side chaining, sometimes whatever I name the track, so for instance, Course 1, it will not say Course 1 in the side chain menu. Uh, I'm sure this is a bug in Vocal Line's part, but if not, it also could be a bug in um, Logic's part, since it's still, you know, version 9.0. Um, so there you have it. If you have any more questions, let me know. Leave a comment. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll make some more videos. Okay? See you later.